so fucking heavy. Ugh. Minu, what are you doing? Good morning, fellow woodworkers. Where you come back to our video? So this arrived today, um, and I'm going to unbox it and tell you what I think about this planner. It's the DH300 by Metabo, and I'm pretty excited about it because um, for the price tag, like 500 to 600 euros, really depends on where you buy it. It seems to be one of the best you can get out there. So pretty excited about this one. And once I um, get used to using a planner, this is my first one, I can finally create stuff like cutting boards and the like. So let's unbox it and then let's test it. I had to head home the other day, but now I'm ready to try out the thickness planner from Metabo. And what I got here are the manuals, the instructions, and I'm going to see if I can find useful information about this machine in here. And I don't think so, because most of the time, instruction manuals are utter garbage when it comes to, I don't know, just regular woodworking products. And I'm probably going to end up to take a look at some random YouTube video to try to figure out how this works on my own. Let's give it a shot, and then we're going to test it out. As I thought, this manual really doesn't help me in any kind of way. I'm already stuck at the very beginning on how to set up the height of the planner. Thing is, on this side you can see the centimeters or inches and if I were to bring it down, this should be about six centimeters thick. But if I get it down to the appropriate height, I can't even move it into here anymore and it's above seven centimeters. I don't understand it right now, but I'm going to take a look at some kind of digital manual now. Maybe I find one on the Metabo website or something, and then I'm going to head back and see if I learned anything. Whew. To be honest, watching videos didn't help either because Metabo doesn't have an official guide on how to use this thickness planner. Also, I couldn't find any real video for the Metabo on how to set it up properly for planning. But I learned something different, namely, many planners have the cool little feature that there's some kind of knob here or button. Yes, the Metabo one does have one too. When you are going to press it into the workpiece, it's going to tell you how much wood you are going to take off. Let me show you. So there we go, you see, if I press here, here's the little button. This little arrow is going to go upwards, telling me how much centimeters, millimeters or inches I'm going to take off in total. Meaning if I were to put the workpiece under here and I'm now going to screw it down a tiny little bit, it's going to tell me that I'm going to take off, for example, 1 16th of an inch now. And now I can put it into the machine and then hope for the best. Let's try it out. Since I'm pretty fucking terrified of machines which spin at rapid rates at about 10 to 20k rotations per minute, I'm going to take this thick piece of wood at first and I'm going to see if it works. I'm going to put it in here, then I'm going to take a step back and I'm just going to hope for the best. And for the start, I'm just going to shave off a tiny little bit, let's say about one millimeter. Now let's hope for the best and let's try it out. Supposedly, those things are extremely fucking loud. So I'm probably going to overlay this part of the video with a bit of music. Let's go ahead and get started. I decided to go the even safer route with more um, distance to the machine by using this longer piece of wood. And yeah, I can keep my distance this way, push it into here safely, and then we are going to see how it works. I'm going to lock my thickness into place with this lock up here, and then I'm going to push it through and we're going to see how it works out. It took off a tiny little bit of wood, but not very much. Um, I think the reason for that is because um, if I put it under here and it's going to lever in this direction, it's going to push the button upwards a tiny little bit. So I'm probably going to go down a tiny little bit deeper and then let's see how it works out. Let's lock it once again, but I'm so glad it worked the first time around. And now let's take a bit more off.
I'm honestly surprised about the results. So what I noticed is I have a very nice flat surface right now. It feels pretty good, no sanding needed anymore. And this over the whole piece. And even though I'm not um, parallel to the crown, so we got a little deep line here going downwards, the result is pretty damn good. And also my planner didn't cut into the workpiece, which is also really good. So I didn't get any kind of Hubelschlag, it's called in German. Um, if I find the right English word, it's going to be here. I'm also going to plane the other side now and let's see how that works out with a little deeper cut. This right here is spruce wood right now, so it's very soft wood. We're going to try it out on harder wood in a second. This is beautiful. Seriously, this is so much fun. It's so much fun to just watch how it goes through and yeah, just all the wood coming out on the other side. It's such a oh, pleasure to work with this thing. It's amazing, it's so cool. And the surface is so damn smooth. What a very nice instrument to work with. Let's try it out on harder wood. For example, mahogany. Just ridiculous, seriously. This is crazy. I should have bought one earlier. This is just so good. Now for my projects on Stemmer GU, I'm using a lot of mahogany wood. And when I receive it from the manufacturer, it actually has those saw marks um, over it, all over the place, which is not a problem at all. I can use the random orbiter sander, for example, to get rid of it. But it's still a mess and it takes a while to get off. Let's see how it works out on the thickness planner. And don't forget, always go with the grain, never against the grain. I'm pretty certain that the world is going to explode if I go against the grain. <sighs> Let's see if it works out if I take off just a tiny little bit at first. Not too shabby actually. Most of the stuff on this side actually came off and now we are only left with this side. Let's, yeah, let's just let it run one more time through the planner and let's see how it pans out overall. I am so damn fond of this machine, seriously. This saved me like, I don't know, 10 minutes of sending, which is crazy. Just two passages through the thickness planner and I'm already done. This is so good and, and just overall it looks freaking fantastic. Just take a look at this result. Took off everything and yeah, just wonderful and the surface is so nice and smooth. I don't want to live without this thing anymore, it's so amazing. Let's try with a different kind of wood, for example cherry wood. So that's a completely different kind of situation right now. So this right here is the cherry wood and my CNC actually messed it up. This was the first time trying to mill through cherry wood and you can see um, it got stuck inside of the stock and then just took a detour on the outside. I'm now going to try to plane off as much as I can such that I can reuse this wood for my projects. Yeah, let's try it out. Holy moly, not a problem at all. Most of the things actually came off. This is really amazing. And I can reuse it now safely. Not a problem at all whatsoever. I love this thing, oh, it's so good. Less free tests. I wanna see how it performs on really hard wood, like the beech wood. I would also love to see how it performs on stuff like purple hard, one of the hardest wood types out there. But beech should do it for now. And also I wanna see how it handles fin stalk. If it's going to break the fin stalk or if it's going to come out nicely on the other side. Let's try it out. Using a different piece of beech right now because this other one was too long for the machine to handle, okay? You can only fit about 30 centimeters into here, but this was longer if I wanted to go with the crane. So I'm using this one that actually experienced some kickback on, <laughs> on the uh, table saw. Whew, that was so exciting. That was my first kickback ever and it was fucking terrifying. Let's go. I was a tiny bit terrified of the noise it made, but I think this just comes naturally, um, considering the fact that this is really hard wood and we took off two millimeters at a time. But not a problem at all for this machine. It did a wonderful job. Once again, the machine didn't really cut into the wood whatsoever. It handled the small parts too. What a wonderful machine. Definitely worth it 600 euros, I think. Now for the first piece of Finstock. Once again, spruce wood. It 
was to be expected, no problem whatsoever. And this concludes my tiny little review and also first use of the Metabo DH330 Thickness Planner. And I have to say, this thing is the most satisfying machine I have lying around in my shop up until this point. It's, it's just so amazing to work with. It's such a stable construction. I can even put it here without it being screwed to my um, workspace right now. Nothing really happened. It really didn't move whatsoever. It's so fucking stable. It's just amazing. And it's doing a, a wonderful job. The machine is not cutting into the wood, which is just pretty damn amazing, even on this tiny little gradient that we got right here. Um, other than that, it was about 600 euros, which is about 750 dollars. It's a bit of an expensive machine, definitely not a machine that everyone who starts out with woodworking can afford. But if you are able to afford a machine like this, definitely go for this one. I don't have any other experiences with other uh, thickness blenders up until this point, but I can say for certain at this point that this thing is definitely going to be worth its money. It does a wonderful job and it's so satisfying to use. I just want to take wood right now and just push it through the machine because it's so much fun. You can find the link to the machine down there in the description somewhere. Maybe it's available on Amazon.com, for example, but it's definitely available in, in Germany, so I'm going to link this one too. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, then definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel too and to get yourself a fitness planner as soon as you can. So damn satisfying. I'm now going to push wood through it just for fun. And always remember, never go against the crane. Always go with the crane. Have a great one and have a flammable day. Please stay safe. Ciao.